everyone, I am here today to tell you the results of Max's DNA test with Wisdom Panel. Um, to give you a refresher, we had sent away um, Max's DNA by swabbing the inside of his cheeks to Wisdom Panel, and we were able to get his results back um, right before the new year. Um, to give you a quick update, this is Max. So we already knew that he was obviously very much German Shepherd, but um, since we did not buy him from a pet store, um, he was sold as pure German Shepherd, um, but from a private seller. And we were just curious to see what else he had in him um, other than German Shepherd. So when you get your results back you'll get a nifty little email and it'll make you log into wisdom panel and then it will give you this so let's see it says discover all about max the results are in so right here i'm scrolling down it says max's breed by percentage so he's 87 and a half percent german shepherd dog so he's really very much main german shepherd but what I was disappointed to see in was 12.5% was breed group. It couldn't even determine what breed he could possibly be. Um, it gave me the choices of terrier, sporting, companion, Middle Eastern, and African, and then herding. There are so many different dog breeds in all of those groups combined it would be impossible to try to figure out just by guessing. So I do have to say I am disappointed um, that we aren't going to know what that 12.5% is and that it couldn't even determine at least one possible breed. It just gave generic groups. So I am disappointed in that. Um, if you go down, it gives you the rest. So the 87.5% German Shepherd dog, and we already pretty much knew that. You can look at him and tell that he's German Shepherd. Um, and then it gives you information about them, um, their appearance, and little tidbits of information. And then this part is the breed groups Max is most likely related to. So most likely. And this is what it says, we tested Max's ancestry for specific peer groups going back three generations um, or to the great-grandparents. Beyond this, today's technology can only identify down to the genetic group level. So they said, we know the breeds found in these groups and that Max may share, may share genetic similarities with them. We've arranged them in order with the most likely starting at the top. So... The terrier group, these aren't saying that he has Chihuahua or anything in him. These are just examples. So they're saying that the most likely that he shares is some sort of terrier. And I would imagine that it's a larger terrier. But there, again, there are so many dogs in the terrier group that we will probably never know what he actually is. And then going down, they're guessing that the second possible would be in the sporting group. Um, the third possible is companion group, and then these are, again, example dogs. Fourth possible is Middle Eastern and African group. And then the last is the herding group. So we're probably never going to know what the other part of Max is, which I do have to say I am really disappointed in. Um, Max's family tree so obviously his parents um i've seen his mother and father when we got him his mother i am going to say is the one that was pure german shepherd her parents were pure german shepherd and then their parents were pure german shepherd so but max's dad um he was a black dog he, you could tell he had German Shepherd in him, but you could tell that he had something else in him. So he was mixed. But his mother was pure German Shepherd, and her parents were pure German Shepherd. But Max's father was mixed. And then Max's father's father, so Max's grandfather, was mixed with something they just 
random, I guess. This is beyond what they could do. But the grandmother was pure German Shepherd. So he has a lot of pure German Shepherd in him, which is good. But I do, you know, for the price of the test, I am kind of disappointed um, that I wasn't able to get even, you know, a, a guess, I guess, of the breeds that he could possibly be. So then um, you can see, like, genetic health results and stuff. Um, then they'll give you a certificate but that has um, personal information on it, so I'm not going to uh, be playing around with that. Uh, let's see here. And then the additional breed tests. And then you can go through, like, all about Max's health. Um, uh, they tested the DNA for genetic health conditions, and he passed all those. Um, and then they can tell you, like, traits and stuff, like, anything like this. Like, uh, Max's coat is probably on the short side. Um, he actually, he's got, like, a medium-length coat, um, ideal weight. He's pretty big. He's about 100 pounds, so he's on the fat side, apparently. Um, and then they'll tell you, is Max the correct weight for his body type? And it's just telling you, um, you know you know, uh, different things that you can look at. So that's basically all of his um, information. This is how um, your results will be mailed to you, I mean emailed to you. Um, now, I have used Wisdom Panel before on two other dogs. Um, I used it on Rue years ago, and it was able to find out that he is a hybrid. He only has two breeds in him, and that was just perfect. He was uh, Chihuahua and Toy Fox Terrier. But then I also used it on our dog that we used to have, um, our Husky Kanga, and it came back with Husky, Alaska Malamute, and then something that they could not detect. So we thought maybe it was Wolf, because back then they didn't have the um, capability to detect Wolf. Um, but it seems that I would suggest um, that Wisdom Panel, at least from my experience, has uh, better a better time with smaller dogs, at least for me and what I've tested with them with three dogs, um, and two of them came back um, not being able to completely find all 100% of what they could be. Um, but if you are interested in Wisdom Panel, they are really easy to use. Um, I have used them and they do give uh, pretty good results. So if you're just curious about your dog's ancestry, then I would suggest that you check them out.